supports the spay and neutering fund of the Homeward Animal Shelter. Shelter manager and foster parent Heather Clyde and special events coordinator Heather Clusted. They're making it easy on us this morning with the Homeward Animal Shelter here to tell us about the second annual, I love the name, Spaghetti and No Balls Lunch. To both of you, thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. We're happy to be here. So talk about the impact this lunch makes for your organization and why people should come out and attend. Sure. Well, it is our second annual Spaghetti and No Balls Lunch. Um, and it's a fun event, and all the proceeds from the event go to our spay and neuter fund at the Homeward Animal Shelter. So it is tomorrow at the Holiday Inn from 11 to 2. It's a free will donation, but like I said, the important part about it is it goes to the spay and neuter fund. And, you know, we, we want to make an impact uh, in the community and raise awareness about the importance of spaying and neutering your pets. And we really want to, you know, prevent more animals from becoming homeless just by encouraging people to spay and neuter. So you can have a bunch of animals out there tomorrow, hopefully, where people can come and pet and hang out. And Serving yeah. the spaghetti. We will yeah. have animals at the event itself. We will have um, pictures of animals that are available, but um, so not at this event. There won't be actual animals there for this time for people to meet. But And I know you guys' mission is obviously kind of clear to us because we've interviewed you so many times, but if people kind of wonder what Homeward Animal Shelter is, you guys really do step in when animals are kind of on that last, I need a home. Yes, and we rescue primarily from the local pound, so these are animals that are picked up as strays or they're abandoned. Um, if no one steps forward to claim them after the hold time, then we'll take them in and find them new homes. So that's where the majority of our animals are coming from. We do take in owner surrenders as well when we have space, um, but most of them are coming from the local pounds. So most of them don't come to us already fixed. Um, we do take in pregnant animals from time to time. One of our foster cats actually just had six kittens last night, so wow. spaying and neutering is of utmost importance to us because we don't want to continue to have more animals that are in need of homes um, when there's already so many that are homeless. You know, you hear stories about more and more pets are needing more homes in our community. You guys have been now with the organization for quite some time. Do you find that to be true? Are the numbers up pretty dramatically in our area? Or? Um, I would say they're going down slightly, which oh, is good. always a good thing. Um, since 2012, all the adoptable pets from the local pounds have been rescued, so there's no more euthanization of adoptable pets in the local pounds, which was a problem when I first started there. Um, so it's great that people are finally starting to get a, you know, the cue to take um, spay and neutering seriously, but there's still a problem out there. We still see a lot of kittens every spring and summer that are in need of homes. Right, and that's, this is kind of the event that kind of helps kick that off, but also, as you said, you're going to have pictures of the pets. I know we talked about Garfield this morning, and we also talked about Zayla. Zayla, and I mean, that's also another thing. It's not only is it important to get these pets spayed and neutered, but also to find them, which your catchphrase is, their forever home. That's right. Yes, we definitely want to want to find each of them that perfect home for them. So, mm -hmm. I want to know who was the marketing genius that came up with the name of your luncheon. Um, we actually borrowed it, yes. <laughs> um, but it's been around the country, yeah. so we're we using it here as well. <laughs> yeah, it's just appropriate for what it's um, meant to be for. So. Mm -hmm. Well, you hear it on Price is Right. Don't forget to get your pets yeah. spayed and neutered. Right. So this is kind of a way that you can, instead of just hearing it, you can take action right here in the community because you don't want to see those little animals out there without a home. That's right, definitely. You know, we just want to make sure people realize how important it is and, you know, that they can make a difference right here in the community just by simply spaying and neutering their own pets. I'm so happy to hear the numbers are going down. So that was good news. Thank you for sharing. Anything else you guys want to talk about for tomorrow? Uh, well, we do. Um, for tomorrow, like I said, come out. It's going to be a great event. Um, there's going to be a raffle along with it, too. So we have a lot of fun prizes for the raffle. So we hope you can, can join us at the Holiday Inn 11 to 2 tomorrow. Um, but I do want to mention, you know, we are, we have um, our 50, it's our 50th year right now. And wow. we are having an open house to celebrate um, 50 years of bringing pets and people together. And we will be doing that at the shelter on the 28th. So hmm. that's from 4 to 7, just an open house. Come help us celebrate, have some refreshments, and take a tour of the shelter. And like I said, just help us celebrate bringing 50 years, um, 50 years of bringing pets and people together. You know, one last Perfect. question. we got a short amount of time. The favorite story that you have, of, I, mean, I love how you said bringing pets and people together. Any story you have where you've done that and, like, really stands out to you? Gosh, there's so many. It's oh hard my to pick gosh. one. Um, 
No. I was going to say, you're asking them of their how many years being there. <laughs> well, okay, so a more recent one, and I actually think you met Sharla when you were there before um, oh, Wags, yeah. Whiskers, and Wine last fall. We had a, a Cocker Spaniel that came to us. Um, she'd been surrendered to the pound. She had a lot of health issues. She had a um, problem with her eye. Her ears were horribly infected, and she had a lot of um, scarring in her ears. She had a lot of other health issues, and she was a dog that we had to put a lot of money into um, try and get her well, and she was also a dog that was going to continue to be an expensive dog to care for so not everybody is looking for that type of dog mm -hmm. and luckily it took her five months but she found the perfect home with someone who already had um, three other spaniels who were kind of special needs as well so and Charlotte's doing great now oh, nice. Yay. oh don't thank forget you, to go to the luncheon tomorrow thank you guys for being here yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> How oh, cute. There it is one more time for you guys, and we'll see you out there tomorrow from 11 until 2. We'll be right back after this.